I don't think the vampires would be stupid enough to attack us here. the price we pay for openly recruiting. We'll have to step up our defenses. 
I don't suppose you have some good news for me. Of course. Why did I suppose differently? Fine. Tell me what you know. The woman? Trapped in there? That doesn't make any sense. Who is she? More importantly, where is she? I'm waiting to hear what any of this means. They what? And you didn't stop them? You didn't secure the scroll? I suppose you're lucky you're not dead. Or worse, one of them. By the Divines. This couldn't get much worse. This is more than you and I can handle. When did I say that? We just need... We need help. If they're bold enough to attack us here, then this may be bigger than I thought. I have good men here, but... There are people I've met and worked with over the years. We need their skills, their talents, if we're going to survive this. If you can find them, we might have a chance. Red to the point, aren't you? I like that. Not like those fools in the Order. We should keep it small. Too many people and we'll draw unwanted attention to ourselves. I think we'll want Serene Gerard. Breton girl whips smart and good with tinkering. Fascination with the Dwemer. Weapons in particular. Last I knew, she was out in the Reach. Convinced she was about to find the biggest dwarven ruins yet. Might need a little convincing, but she should. You'll also want to find Gunmar. Big brute of a Nord. Hates vampires almost as much as I do. Got it into his head years back that his experience with animals would help. Trolls in particular, from what I hear. Last I knew he was out scouring Skyrim for more beasts to tame. Bring the two of them back here, and we can get started on coming up with a plan. Watch your back. Find Serene and Gunmar, and maybe we can do something about this mess. Well, at least you're smart enough to want to learn more. I'll show you. Watch your back. Want with my satchel anyway. Gyro's lying around, have you? I swear I left it right here. You think mud crabs might have taken it? So Just look around, will you? What's wrong? Wants me? 
No, you must be mistaken. He made it exceedingly clear the last time we spoke that he had no interest in my help. I find it hard to believe he's changed his mind. He said some very hurtful things to me before I left. Anyway, I'm quite happy in my current pursuits. So if you'll excuse me... Vampires? Really? Oh, and I suppose now he remembers that I proposed no less than three different scenarios that involved vampires overrunning the population. Well, what are they up to? I... well, that's actually something I never would have anticipated. Interesting. I'm not sure what they would do with one, but in this case, Isran is probably correct in thinking it isn't good. All right. If nothing else, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to learn more about what's going on so I can better defend myself. But I'm not just going to abandon what I've been working on here. It's too useful. I need at least one intact Dwarven Gyro. So either I need to find the satchel those mud crabs stole, or I need another gyro from someplace. You wouldn't happen to have one, would you? I'm sorry, but I'm not about to do that with at least a single gyro to show for my efforts. I understand that, but I really can't leave here without at least one usable piece of dwarven equipment. A single gyro would be enough, I think. Believe me, this is useful stuff. Well, then I'm very sorry, but I can't just walk away from this project yet. It can't be. You... You took its very soul. One gyro. I understand that. A single gyro would be enough, I think. Thank you. It's not much, but this will help a great deal with some things I've been researching. Now, where is it Isran expects me to go? Ah, been working more on his secret hideout, has he? It'll be interesting to see how much progress he's made. I'll finish up here and head in that direction as soon as I can. See you there. Until next time. Mind yourself. You there! Hold fast! I've tracked this damned bear for two weeks. I'll not let it have any more victims. Ethron needing someone else's help. Never thought I'd hear that. I'm afraid he's a few years too late. I've moved on. I have more important business to attend to. Besides, he can handle anything alone. He assured me so himself. What could he possibly need my help with? Vampires. That... well, that might change things. Tell me more about what's going on. By the eight. Alright, look. I'll consider it. 
but I can't just leave this bear to prey on more innocent people. Once it's dealt with, then perhaps I'll see what Isran expects of me. Watch yourself. This bear is vicious. I don't know how well I'd have managed by myself. You have my thanks. You've helped me, so I suppose the least I can do is find out what Isran wants. He's still at that fort near Stendar's beacon, I assume. Of course he did. He's been working on that place for years now. Never lets anyone in. His own little fortress. Well, I guess I'll get to see what he's been up to all this time. I'll meet you there. Alright, Isran. You've got us all here. 
Now what do you want? Hold it right there! What are you doing? Making sure you're not vampires. Can't be too careful. So welcome to Fort Dawnguard. I'm sure you've heard a bit of what we're up against. Powerful vampires, unlike anything we've seen before. And they have an Elder Scroll. On fire, all right? If anyone is going to stand in their way, it's going to be us. This is all well and good, but do we actually know anything about what they're doing? What do we do now? We'll get to that. For now, oh. we space. Maureen, you'll find room to start your tinkering on that crossbow design. Huh? Gunmark, there's an area large enough for you to pin up some trouble. Get them armored up and ready for use. In the meantime, we're going to get to the bottom of why a vampire showed up here looking for you. Let's go have a little chat with you, shall we? Cozy little place, isn't this? I like what Eastron has done with this place. one day. I knew. And no one believed. Serene needs help with her project to improve our crossbows. And if that doesn't interest you, speak with Gunma. He has something for you. Stay alert. Be on your... Only what I've heard. Back in the Second Era, the Jarl of Riften had a son. Adventurous type. Too much for his own good, it seems. Wound up turning into a vampire. The Jarl, unable to kill his own son, spent a fortune building this keep and hiring men to guard it. Their job was to keep the Jarl's son contained within. They took it seriously, and served honorably. They were eventually forced to put him down. The Jarl banished them from the hold, but they stuck to their cause. Fought vampires wherever they found them. I aim to continue that mission. Stay alert. Cozy little place, isn't this? Hmm? Hope you're getting along with Eastron. It takes some getting used to. showed up while you were away. I'm guessing it's the one you found in Dimhalo Crypt. Says it's got something really important to say to you. So let's hear it. You probably weren't expecting to see me again. I'd rather not be here either, but I needed to talk to you. It's important, so please just listen before your friend here loses his patience. It's... Well, it's about me and the Elder Scroll that was buried with me. The reason I had it, 
and why I was down there. It all comes back to my father. I'm guessing you figured this part out already, but my father's not exactly a good person, even by vampire standards. He wasn't always like that, though. There was... a turn. He stumbled onto this obscure prophecy and just kind of lost himself in it. It's pointless and vague, like all prophecies. The part he latched onto said that vampires would no longer need to fear the sun. That's what he's after. He wants to control the sun. Have vampires control the world. Anyway, my mother and I didn't feel like inviting a war with all of Tamriel, so we tried to stop him. That's why I was sealed away with a scroll. I'm sorry, I had heard there were vampire hunters here. I thought they might want to know about a vampire plot to enslave the rest of the world. Was I wrong? Well, let's move then. I'm nothing if not persuasive. Alright, you've heard what it has to say. Now tell me, is there any reason I shouldn't kill this blood-sucking fiend right now? Why? Because of that story about the prophecy about some vampire trying to put the sun out? Do you actually believe any of that? Who knows? Maybe it has a death wish. Maybe it's just insane. I don't really care. It can stay for now. But if it so much as lays a finger on anyone here, I'll hold you responsible. Got it. You hear me? Don't feel like a guest because you're not. You're a resource. You're an asset. In the meantime, don't make me regret my sudden outburst of tolerance and generosity. Because if you do, your friend here is going to pay for it. Thank you for your kindness. I'll remember it the next time I'm feeling hungry. So, in case you didn't notice the giant thing on my back, I have the Elder Scroll with me. Whatever it says, it will have something that can help us stop my father. But, of course, neither of us can read it. Well, the Moth Priests are the only ones I've heard of who can do it. They spend years preparing before they start reading, though. Not that it helps us anyway, because they're all half a continent away. In Cyrodiil. Some Imperial scholar arrived in Skyrim a few days ago. I was staking out the road when I saw him pass by. Maybe that's your Moth Priest. Do you know where he's staying now? No, and I'm not going to waste men looking. We're fighting a war against your kind, and I intend to win it. You want to find him? Try talking to anyone who'd meet a traveler. Innkeepers and carriage drivers in the big cities, maybe. But you're on your own. Any idea how you're going to find a moth priest? Skyrim's a pretty big place. Well, back before I... You know... The College of Winterhold was the first place I'd think to go for any kind of magic or historical thing. The wizards know about all kinds of things that people probably shouldn't know about. Actually, now that I think of it, I'm going to come along with you. I've been really wanting to get out and explore a bit. That's... a long story. I guess... We kind of have to go way back, to the very beginning. Do you know where vampirism came from? Exactly. The first vampire came from Molag Bal. She... was not a willing subject. But she was still the first. Molag Bal is a powerful Daedric Lord, and his will is made reality. For those willing to subjugate themselves, he will still bestow the gift, but they must be powerful in their own right before earning his trust. The ceremony was... degrading. Let's not revisit that. But we all took part in it. Not really wholesome family activity, but... I guess it's something you do when you give yourselves to a Daedric Lord. I'm not sure it's really your place to judge me. To judge us. My family has its problems, but they're our problems. Let's just move on from here, okay? A cure? Why even think of it that way? 
I can't think of any reason I'd want to lose this gift. Especially after what I did to get it. It may have driven my family apart, but I'm still here. And I'm alive. I won't give this up. I've made myself rather clear. You may be used to the Empire bowing to your every whim, but I'm afraid you'll find the Thalmor received no such treatment here. You are a guest of the College, here at the pleasure of the Archmage. I hope you appreciate the opportunity. Very good. Then we're done. I don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly. Are we clear? Hundreds of years have gone into assembling this collection. It a moth priest? What an oblivion do you need a moth priest for? Fine, fine. No need to get your britches in a twist. The obvious answer is to go to the Imperial City. The moth priests make their home in the White Gold Tower. Sometimes they go out looking for Elder Scrolls. Lucky for you, there's a moth priest in Skyrim right now, doing just that. He stopped in to do some research in the library, then left for Dragonbridge. If you hurry, you might catch him there. I'm assuming you're here for more than a... Enough of you. <sighs> Easily blocked. <sighs> what you gonna do, huh? What you gonna do? Ah!
Something different about you, I can tell. Hope you ain't here to cause trouble. People say there's someone in Riften that can change your face. Make you look completely different. Do you believe that? Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. All right, then. Is it true what they say? There was a dragon held captive in Whiterun? Ah, oh, so that was a moth priest, then. He rode through town not long ago with an escort of soldiers. They didn't stop, just headed south, across the Dragon Bridge. I'll take my leave then.
Time to end this. Okay. I knew I heard something. Yeah! Not as much as I would like. Even after spending decades of my life in study of the Elder Scrolls, they remain a great mystery to me. It's true for most of my brothers in the Order as well. We don't really know where the scrolls came from or who wrote them. What we do know is that some are born with the special gift to read the Elder Scrolls. These chosen few can divine events of the past and future within the scrolls, though in time, it drives us to blindness. I'm afraid there's not much more to tell. Even today, the Elder Scrolls remain a great enigma. It is our sacred duty to study the Elder Scrolls. We read these ancient scrolls of prophecy in order to divine the future, and we use that knowledge to aid the Emperor. Sometimes, we venture out into the world in search of more scrolls for our library at the White Gold Tower. That is the very purpose that first brought me to Skyrim. It is the great spire at the heart of the Imperial City, among the tallest towers in all of Tamriel. The lower floors are home to the Imperial Council, and the Order of Moth Priests occupies the middle floors. The tower suffered damage in the recent war with the Altmeri Dominion, and is not what it once was. I hope one day to see it restored to its former glory. Uh, I'm quite all right, thanks to you. Dexian Evicus is my name. I'm a moth priest of the White Gold Tower. These vampires claim they had some purpose in store for me, but they wouldn't say what. Probably hoping to ransom me, the fools. You do? All right then, enough mysteries. You have an Elder Scroll? Remarkable. If my knowledge of history serves me, I recall that the Dawn Guard was an ancient order of vampire hunters. 
I will be happy to assist you with your Elder Scroll. Just tell me where I need to go. Very well. I'll hurry on my way there before more of those vampires turn up. impressed you could find a moth priest so quickly. For the reading? Yeah. Just let the old man know when you're ready. What can I do for you? Ah, my rescuer. It's good to see you again. It's not exactly the hospitality I'm used to, but your man Isran has seen to my needs well enough. And might I add, this is a remarkable fortress. I have colleagues back home that would love to study this place in detail. Oh, most certainly. Let's find out what secrets the scroll can tell. Now, if everyone will please be quiet, I must concentrate. I see a vision before me. An image of a great bow. I know this weapon. It is Oriel's bow. Now a voice whispers, saying, Among the knight's children, a dread lord will rise. In an age of strife, when dragons return to the realm of men, darkness will mingle with light, and the night and the day will be as one. The voice fades and the words begin to shimmer and distort. But wait, there is more here. The secret of the bow's power is written elsewhere. I think there is more to the prophecy, recorded in other scrolls. Yes, I see them now. One contains the ancient secrets of the dragons, and the other speaks of the potency of ancient blood. My vision darkens, and I see no more. To know the complete prophecy, we must have the other two scrolls. I must rest now. The reading has made me weary. Come on, old man. You should get some rest. Do you have a moment to talk? Moth Priest Dexian. He said we needed two other Elder Scrolls. I think I know where we can start looking. Half the people in your little crew would just as soon kill me as talk to me. That doesn't exactly make me want to open up. I got a warmer welcome from my father, and that's saying something.
It's not a question of trust. He's just obsessed with the prophecy. And from what I could tell, a thousand extra years of obsession haven't made him any better. I should have found him a hobby. I don't even think he sees me as his daughter anymore. I'm just... a means to an end. We need to find my mother, Valerica. She'll definitely know where it is. And if we're lucky, she actually has it herself. The last time I saw her, she said that she'd go somewhere safe. Somewhere that my father would never search. Other than that, she wouldn't tell me anything. But the way she said it, someplace he would never search. It was cryptic, yet she called attention to it. Maybe. What I can't figure out is why she said it that way. Besides, I can't imagine a single place my father would avoid looking. And he's had all this time, too. Any ideas? Wait, that almost makes sense. There's a courtyard in the castle. I used to help pretend a garden there. All of the ingredients for our potions came from there. She used to say that my father couldn't stand the place. Too... peaceful. Oh, absolutely. But my mother's not a coward. That is, I don't think we'll actually trip over her there, but it's worth a look. True, but I know a way we can get to the courtyard without arousing suspicion. There's an unused inlet on the northern side of the island that was used by the previous owners to bring supplies into the castle. An old escape tunnel from the castle exits there. I think that's our way in. It's around the side of the castle. Let's move. <laughs>